Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. Here we have the Hollis F two fins. So these are a slightly sort of shorter and lighter version of the F1 fins. Um, they're pretty much made out of the same material, um, but they're just made to be a more compact and, uh, and lighter version, and, um, and they definitely are. So taking a closer look, we're going to start up at this end so we can uh, sort of see all of its features. So at this end, we have a adjustable spring heel strap. So this uses a metal spring instead of a sort of plastic or rubber bungee. So a bit more reliable. Uh, on the inside of that, there's also some um, sort of cord, just as a redundancy. So if anything ever happened to that, um, you've still got sort of something on the inside. Big rounded, sort of molded uh, sort of heel strap, and we've got a big, uh, big thumb loop on that. So even if you've got gloved hands, you can uh, sort of pull that up and over your heels. Um, what differs this from a lot of other spring heel straps is that you have some adjustment in it as standard. So as we can see, we've got two little uh, sort of bolts down at the bottom uh, where it attaches onto the foot pocket. We have the same on the other side. So we actually have sort of three different types of adjustments or um, sort of settings for adjustment. So you can make them tighter or you can make them looser, depending off um, whether that uh, sort of standard strap is a little bit too snug or not snug enough, uh, you can tighten it or loosen it so it's exactly uh, sort of comfortable. Main benefit of the spring heels, really quick and easy to get them on. And as you descend, as your uh, sort of wetsuit or dry suit compresses, uh, it's still going to uh, sort of hold onto the back of your heel so your fins actually stay in position. Generous foot pocket in here. Uh, the Hollis ones always have a, a decent sized foot pocket and this is uh, fairly rigid. Um, so it's gonna transfer all that energy from your foot. Uh, on the underside of that, we've got a pretty decent tread on this and these fins are pretty flat as well. So if you're walking around on the deck of a boat uh, or sort of trying to make your entry, uh, sort of short entry, you, um, you can sort of shuffle around fairly well. And because you've got this decent sized tread, uh, even if you're going in sort of on sand, uh, whatever the substrate, you still have a bit of grip so you're not gonna be tripping over. So, decent size uh, sort of rails running down the, um, down the sides and they're transferring the energy from your foot pocket down towards the tip of the fin. Uh, we've also got this kind of flap here on the side, again, just trapping as much water as possible and then angling and channel it, uh, <laughs> channeling it down towards the tip of the fin so it's moving you through the water. Now, this is a kind of dual layer fin, which you don't really see very much. And um, this has a few benefits. As you can see on the top here, we have this section of, uh, of fin, and then underneath it, we've got a few vents. If I flip it over, you'll see it's got even more vents. So in kind of fin physics, just in front of the toe box here, in front of the foot pocket, this is usually a very dead zone. It creates a lot of drag. So by creating a vent in here and allowing the water to kind of channel through, it actually improves the efficiency. It reduces drag. So actually these are a very effective fin despite their kind of smaller size. And um, very sort of simple, understated design. Uh, we've got the big rib running through the center as well that just maintains the kind of rigidity of the fin. So whether you're using a, uh, a frog kick or a flutter kick, whatever uh, sort of kick style you use, these are going to be effective. And because they're quite short, they're quite good in confined spaces. They're quite good for traveling as well. As far as weight, they're not on the heavy side. You pick up a, uh, a single F1 fin and it's noticeably heavy compared to other normal fins. But for a single uh, sort of monomer, um, uh, fin. This is actually quite lightweight, so great for the modern diver who wants to dive at home and travel. Um, so do I like them? Yes. They're um, they're kind of the perfect size. They're nice and compact. They're vented. Um, they're made out of a single piece of this kind of monoprene-like uh, material. They've got a decent uh, sort of bend to them, but not too much. Um, they're a fairly stiff fin, so they're going to maintain their shape. Uh, yeah, I definitely like them. Uh, good for sort of warm water diving or cold water diving, uh, as long as you've got the foot pocket that fits over your, um, your dry suit boot. Yeah, they're definitely worth a look. These are the Hollis F2 fins. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.